the site. Uh, so along with client, you go and see the site. And site is one of the most influencing factors. Uh, the site in itself, so uh, whether it has whatever the attributes that site has within site and uh, around the site. So all mm -hmm. those things Surrounding are really important. The Surrounding out the site. Now in the attributes, it is a slope, it is the trees, it is the uh, well, dala. Uh, things are, uh, I mean, uh, as many parameters as you can think of are the, always there within that site and mm. each and every aspect is going to influence you uh, to uh, influence your design and rather that is uh, the one of the basic aspect that you should always consider as a, a solution a design solution to the challenges that particular site either are being uh, you know sort of a uh, felt like True. Uh, the surrounding of the site is also very important because uh, depending on the analysis uh, uh, suppose you are on a uh, you want to have a bungalow and it is absolutely on a very extremely busy street where there is a noise pollution hmm. so the first thing that you should think about is how I can reduce the noise pollution the screening uh, the suppose, screening through the screening and, and things so Design solution can be a uh, number of ways. True. But the uh, thing is, identifying the pros and cons of the site is very important. And uh, uh, I mean, one should not be uh, sort of a tensed or hesitant to mention the cons of the site. Because as a designer, you have to amplify the pros and nullify what are cons. So, I mean, basically, uh, so, uh, sir, what you're saying is that the cons itself shall be the starting points of the design. So, I mean, those will be... Could be, the could be. Uh, I mean, I, uh, yes, I mean, cons as well as pros. Because uh, suppose I, I'm overlooking the uh, extremely good uh, lake view. And so, uh, the my uh, starting point always will be how I can actually enjoy, Amplify. make my client enjoy that view 24 that to 7. Absolutely. So that, that can be the starting clue. That can be the starting clue. That is, that can be starting clue. So uh, that is actually the uh, site analysis is very, very important. Uh, now uh, you uh, make some for, across for that. Uh, for that student or any architect should visit the site first before starting his design. Absolutely. I mean, without visiting the site, uh, it's like uh, giving a medicine without seeing the patient. <laughs> so absolutely that is uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Half no. So you have to be there, you have to spend time. If the site is big enough, you can actually spend the time for a whole day. Uh, you understand uh, you know, how, how we are, topo uh, topography, side and surrounding, climatical aspect. Now at the moment we are doing one um, resort in Kokard, which is about uh, 50 acres. It is absolutely mm -hmm. touching the sea. Mm -hmm. It is densely uh, vegetation, the uh, trees are there. Now, uh, we actually spent almost three days over there, like a camping. Right, okay. In understand. the night we used to go to hotel, but it is basically uh, understanding which are the better spots where you, uh, I mean, 50 acres is a huge uh, land. And True. so out of that, which is the land where you want to have a built area where you want to just keep it open. So all this is like understanding what is there and slowly you start developing that uh, uh, concept uh, for the uh, designing. So uh, uh, site uh, analysis is very important. Uh, even the uh, surrounding, as uh, we were telling, uh, mm -hmm. whether it is every time it is not necessarily a positive, okay, there is a view and you have to have uh, naturally overlooking that. It is, can be other way around also. There is something that you want to avoid, uh, really do not want to overlook into, or there is something which you want to rather uh, the, show it with a certain frames and uh, things like that. True. So these are all the parameters that you start analyzing in your mind. Uh, then comes 
is uh, you are uh, you become a more about uh, uh, come to the ground so to say mm -hmm. and start analyzing all those uh, other aspects like documents because there is a uh, land and then there is something which is uh, governing that designing which is called by laws and uh, so uh, bylaws actually uh, tells you do's and don'ts uh, mm -hmm. rather they tells you uh, don'ts more often than do's <laughs> and uh, so those are the so basically, basically uh, 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 yeah Prado. no no so please go on uh, I, I thought Prado was saying a uh, topic okay. no, sir. so uh, uh, so basically those bylaws are also uh, very uh, important aspect i will come to that in the latter stage right how i uh, what are the parameters of that but this is basically the bylaws uh, the bylaws are also again uh, have to have the documents which are part of their analysis meaning demarcation seven toll extract so all these uh, analytical uh, aspect uh, as an architect, you do, and you know, as I say, uh, many times the ladies uh, cook, they, so they prepare something, they keep it aside, and uh, actually use it when they want to make that dish final. Absolutely. So it's like that. So you <laughs> you you analyze, uh, you have that uh, bylaw side analysis done. That's the keep it ready. aside, and and and, and then uh, you start uh, uh, working on other aspect. Uh, like climate, uh, climatological aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, you have already got your uh, site uh, map in your head. Now uh, go into the detail with the analysis, whether it is a uh, uh, wind direction, sun direction. Uh, your uh, as a data analysis. Uh, so all those things uh, you uh, analyze and keep it ready and then your actually design starts Very okay. true. now the design does not start with the sketch you are not supposed to start with the sketch or putting a pencil to the paper or uh, young people actually start with the nowadays on the computer Directly. basically any design starts with the concept and it is also extremely important to have the concept before you start with the design solution, start giving design solution. Now, what is concept? Actually, you as a student can read uh, volumes uh, that has been written on the concept. But concept, uh, to tell in a very uh, simple way, is nothing but where you want to go where you want to take your client to what is the ambience and the final product that you want to give to uh, 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 your client uh, so it is basically setting up a goal mm -hmm. is the concept now that concept uh, actually gets influenced uh, with all this data that we have uh, prepared so far so right. all our analysis, all our constraints, if at all, due to uh, bylaws, this is all something which we can keep it on one side. Okay, this is something which is challenges. And this is my solution to it. This is how I'm going to nullify that challenge and I'm making it happen the, where I want to go. You know, so that is the uh, uh, point of concept. Uh, it can be... Uh, put in a very uh, poetic words, it can be in a very, uh, what I would say, uh, oh, sort of a vague uh, basically, sir, Basically, uh, sir, as uh, we are understanding, uh, defining your concept is something like, sum, uh, is like summing up all that you have understood about the client brief, about the plot, and like now hmm. defining what is, as you rightly said, the goal of my design. So, I mean, like a sum up process sure. of the, I mean, basically a sum up process. Yes. Uh, to put it slightly one step ahead, what I was mm -hmm. saying, it is also gives you a sub sort of a destination. 
for example uh, uh, if i say i want to uh, go to some city now that is a very vague uh, statement and you really don't know where in which direction you have to go but if you put it okay i want to go to mumbai now you have a destination now you see how much money client has okay mm. he doesn't cannot afford to fly over there and then he want to rather uh, enjoy all the uh, scenic beauties uh, traveling process scenic beauties so maybe you can go by road so this is how you actually uh, arrive at your destination at your goal by putting it into the proper words uh, here i would like to give an example of uh, uh, lika buzier he mm -hmm. used to say that uh putting a concept in a proper words is half design done and he gave an example when man said that he wanted to fly like a bird mm. he imitated a bird he put the wings to his shoulder wings. try to fly and it didn't happen then he put the concept in proper format that i want to design a machine which will make me fly and the whole approach to the solution finding becomes a very focused and in a particular direction so this is the uh, essence and the importance of the concept so uh, after having all the ingredient prepared what mm -hmm. you have to rather spend a lot of your time is to develop the concept of your design it's like basically it's like basically upon understanding the client brief to understand okay if my client is talking about a busy city with a sea shore and all of it basically he is talking about mumbai mumbai somewhere he wants to go so now let's go towards mumbai so understanding the name of the sure. city based on his requirement giving it a name sure. giving sure. it a uh, more, more defined a uh, direction absolutely right so once you uh have this goal set ingredients ready then you start with your uh, design solution mm -hmm. now there are certain parameters which makes you your design uh have certain constraints you have to do it within this particular frame for example if it is in the within the city uh, there are certain things like Uh, by law determine that you have to have this minimum setback uh, you have to you can't go beyond x uh, meter of the height and all those things so uh, as we have said that all this uh, prepared uh, analysis will help you into uh, summing up what could be probable solution within that frame absolutely so it is not that uh, uh, there is only the solution or one solution basically the concept also gives you a sense of prioritization of a different aspect that goes into the designing very true and uh, that that is something which actually gives also a meaning uh, uh, however symbolic it may be but that is actually give a very clarity to your own uh, uh, design, design solution process. a justif to your design uh, process uh, yeah. yeah in process and it, it gives a justification why it is there so it it True. is not just there it is a meaning is this so many times you find uh, that uh, the concept can also be a very symbolic one it can have a religious uh, uh, inspiration it can mm -hmm. have a natural uh, form inspiration it can have uh, uh, some sort of a uh, uh, habit inspiration Absolutely. so all those things are uh, there but then uh, once you understand the overall sequence and the uh, basic frame of that concept then everything play uh, uh, is fall into the place Very so true. anything that is not part of that culture immediately uh, doesn't make sense to be there so this is how your design becomes a meaningful this is how your design actually starts going up on a certain 
very fundamental essence of that uh, design process so i mean basically sir as you were saying the last part i could just relate to a sculptor preparing a beautiful sculpture and it's all about knowing that which parts i have to discard which parts i have to shell out so that my right. final design will actually come out so it's about knowing that what what is that will not be a part of this design probably very true very true and uh, then as you go naturally there are a lot of other aspects which uh, uh, I, I we can say a very uh, materialistic aspect of everything because uh, you can't every time be just a platonic and uh, uh, conceptual uh, all this has to be put into some sort of a very concrete form and uh, so all this materialistic aspect are uh, like bylaws uh, budget and then that gives you uh, again uh, what sort of a material uh, availability uh, we can availability and what material can be affordable however now suppose uh, how a concept plays an important role uh, by default we may not go for a very uh, say black flooring but uh, there was one uh, temple, uh, modern temple that is being designed by one of the famous architect. Now it is a Kali Mandir, and so he had all the uh, material in a black stone. Okay. And so that black yeah. in itself is not something which is acceptable or rejectable, rejected. It is basically acceptable because of the concept that it is being uh, put to. So this is uh, the power of that concept. It, uh, it is a uh, thought it is the basically the symbolic meaning to whatever you do so uh, even if the, the client has a certain constraint of the budget which not uh, normally we often uh, felt like mm. uh, uh, even there whether to use a or b within that budget is also depends on your concept so, so it, it doesn't become a uh, thing it becomes a very uh, uh, yeah, thought pr uh, process behind everything Absolutely. that you Absolutely. So this is the uh, designing aspect that you start. Great. Uh, I mean like uh, very well Great. put up sir. Yeah. And sir, uh, and sir, apart from the brief that we receive all of it, I do believe our own research sir will play a lot of work because for example, if we are really well aware with the modern construction technologies with the material availabilities in the market at the very design stage for example suggesting a developer office or else an engineering office to go for an uh, self-exposed um, concrete structure i mean some inputs like this based on our research i mean uh, we just cannot be totally dependent on how much does the client know how much is how much is the briefing he'll give me so i mean uh, as well we can be the real contributor and like help him decode what he really wants and for that sir i believe our homework and our oral awareness sir, sir should be really good and up to date 100 uh, percent you absolutely hit the nail uh, with all things said and done we are doctors of the structure so uh, when uh, you go to doctor uh, you tell them uh, what is actually happening to you where it is paining what is uh, how you are feeling and all those things Sometimes you may also suggest that, okay, uh, yeah, last time after ye dawa di thi, mujhe acha laga. But you cannot insist that you dawa mujhe de do. Absolutely. Because as a doctor, he will analyze you, okay, at that time you are five years younger, now you have aged, and this is an additional problem and things, and he gives you a solution which is absolutely based on his knowledge and uh, experience. Uh, the most important thing, uh, one as an architect, we should not forget is that we are responsible. Meaning, Very uh, uh, that responsibility is not only in terms of the uh, technical knowledge; it is also in terms of the safety, security, uh, sustainability, uh, every aspect, sustainability, every aspect to it. Even the emotional and aspect so, of the client. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so uh, that everything is very much uh, going to be, uh, you, you are going to be answerable for that. It is your child. 
so uh, however uh, each and every aspect has contributed it is ultimately your decision and that you should own that decision so uh, many times it does happen that client uh, uh, tells you okay i want this is this uh, if at all very strongly you come uh, you feel that what he is expecting is something that is not good for him absolutely or he yes. is a bit vague about it or he is uh, uh, slightly uh, confused about uh, what he is looking for or he is uh, rather uh, he may have adopted uh, from uh, yes adopted I mean, it from his already, friend or his relatives or he wanted the to, same feel so maybe we, we are there to guide him yes absolutely absolutely so there is a very thin balance between uh reading between the lines what he is looking for uh influencing him in uh making him, uh, him to come to a uh, uh, right decision that is something we as an expert has to do so i mean basically to sum so, up I, this part of the session uh what i feel yeah. is i mean it's not only about understanding your client it is about helping your client to understand himself first and we as well uh, do with it 